Yo, 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 what's going on, everybody? This is your girl, Crunk Girl 711. What's going on, y'all? I know it's been a little minute, but I'm back with a new new video. Uh, I just finished doing an article on sheattack.com, and I want to do a video about this. So, basically, the article is called Games, Games, Games. How much are you spending in October? So, um, basically, what I did was I just looked at all the list like the complete list for that we know of of games that are coming out in October other than one game that doesn't have a release date yet which is Bayonetta 2 there are 21 games coming out in October 21 games November there's four I don't know if everybody's afraid of Call of Duty or I don't I just don't know usually we see this number and no we don't see this number but we, we see more games come out in November than four and this year October is like the year of the triple-a games like October is fucking slam jam pack with games um so I'm gonna go down a list of every single game that is coming out in October and I'm gonna tell y'all which one which ones I'm probably gonna buy and what I think about the whole situation so basically, Super Smash Bros. 3DS, that comes out on the 3rd, October. Skylanders Trap Team, that comes out on the 5th. Alien Isolation comes out on the 7th. Dragon Age Inquisition comes out on the 7th. Drive Club comes out on the 7th. Middle Earth Shadow of Mortar comes out on the 7th. NBA Live and NBA 2K15 come out on the 7th. And Project Spark comes out on the 7th. Um, Borderlands, the pre-sequel, comes out on the 14th. Raven's Cry comes out on the 14th. Battlefield Hardline comes out on the 21st. The Evil Within comes out on the 21st. Evolve comes out on the 21st. Fantasia Music Evolved comes out on the 21st. Samurai Warriors comes out on the 21st. Uh, Samu Samurai, what am I talking about? Samurai Warriors 4. Um, Civilization Beyond Earth comes out on the 24th. Assassin's Creed Unity comes out on the 28th. Lords of the Fallen comes out on the 28th. Sunset Overdrive comes out on the 28th. And WWE 2K15 comes out on the 28th. Like I said, Bayonetta 2 doesn't have a definite release date yet, but it's supposed to come out um it's supposed to come out in October. So that's 22 games. Out of all these games, there's like multiple games coming out on the same day. Like I said, Alien Isolation, Dragon Age, Drive Club, Middle Earth Shadow of Mordor, NBA Live, 2K15, and Project Spark. That is seven games that are coming out on the exact same fucking day. That is ridiculous. I don't know why developers are doing this to themselves. Because some of these games are going to suffer. Some of these games are not going to sell like they should be selling because people do not have the money to be buying all of these games. They're going to pick and choose which games they want. And um, out of this list, the standout games that I think, like the games that I probably would buy or are, are going to buy is uh, Super Smash Bros. for the 3DS, Alien Isolation, um, Middle Earth Shadow of Mordor, NBA 2K15, Borderlands, the pre-sequel, Evil Within, Evolve, Assassin's Creed Unity, and probably Sunset Overdrive. Of course, like if I had Xbox One, I would buy Sunset Overdrive. Um, 3DS is coming soon. I uh, should have a 3DS before the end of the year. So I'm definitely going to be getting Pokemon. I'm definitely going to be getting Super Smash Brothers. So, like, my, my list alone is, like, pretty dope. Like, I got a little bit of everything on the list. Like, and if you're like a gamer like me who doesn't play just one type of game, you're gonna love October because there's so many games for different types of people. Like, if you want a, a racing game, you can get Drive Club. Or you can just wait till November and get the crew. If you want an RPG, you can get Dragon's Age. Or you can, uh, if you want something scary as hell, you can get the Evil Within or you can get Alien Isolation. Um, if you want a fighter, you can get Super Smash Brothers. Um, if you want something quirky but kind of fun, you can get Borderlands or you can get Sunset Overdrive. Um, for all of the um, multiplayer co-op guys, if you want to play something like that, you can get Evolve. Like if you're a sports, if you're a sports guy, sports girl like me, you can play 2K15 or you can get NBA Live 15. 
there is a lot of games and there's a there's just a lot of stuff and a lot of content that's in these uh that's gonna be in October. Um Jeff Moon Johnny. Oh my god. <laughs> and that's I'm watching Twitch right now. That was knee out of nowhere. But all in all, like this list is fucking fucking pretty damn good. Like and the standouts to me I think uh probably Borderlands pre sequel and Evolve because those are like I, I I saw both of those games up close and personal at PAX. I actually got to play Evolve and um those are the games I'm most looking forward to um in October. Um and if and this is a fun fact. If you're uh if you're a brave soul who who's probably going to buy all of these games in October, you want to know exactly how much you're going to be spending. This is approximately. This is not Adding tax and all that, it, you're gonna approximately be be spending one thousand three hundred and twenty dollars on every single one of those games, and that's not even including tax. <laughs> it's crazy. <laughs> but um, anyways, I'm gonna put the article in the description so y'all can check it out. Let me know what games y'all are gonna be getting. What games y'all actually are gonna. You know what I'm saying, cop? What games y'all think are gonna suffer because there's so many games coming out in this month? And why do y'all think that a lot of these games decided not to come out in December or September? I mean, not December, not decided not to come out in December, November, or September. A lot of these games could be coming out in November, but they decided to all bunch up and come out in October, which I think is gonna hurt some of these games. Especially Drive Club. It's Drive Club is going to hurt because of this. Because there's too many fucking games coming out, man. I just don't know, man. There's going to be a lot of money that's going to lose. They're going to lose because there's too many fucking games coming out on the same day. But anyways, this is your girl, Crunk Girl 7-Eleven. Shouts out to everybody. Shouts out to SheAttack.com. Check out the article, which will be in the description down there. And I'm going to holler at y'all. Deuces.